Hello everybody, this is David Cross from indispensableleadership.org. Uh, you want to check out our our podcasts and our uh, uh, videos here, that's uh, indispensableleadership.com. And today, as I am filming, this is December the 31st, which means <clears throat> we're the end of the year. And I just want to speak with you very briefly about why I do think it's important at the end of a year to make goals, not, not resolutions per se. You know, resolution doesn't mean anything. A resolution is saying, um, I'm gonna get healthy. I'm gonna lose weight. This stuff only becomes meaningful when you create a goal. I'm going to weigh 170 pounds by uh, January the 30th. I'm going to weigh 165 pounds by February the 28th. Goals are what make us actually act. And you got to have a goal and you have to have a real feeling behind it that it's necessary. Now you all know I'm a big Eagles fan. I'm in Philadelphia and I'm watching this crazy Philadelphia Eagles team that couldn't start winning until if they lost, the season was over. But we all act like that, don't we? You know, I just mailed off my, uh, I just mailed off my fee for my license to give tours in uh, 2020. You have to pay a, a license fee. It's a new thing. I'm not crazy about it. You have to pay a license fee to the Park Service. So for my company that gives historical walking tours, I had to send them a check. I mailed it today. It's December the 31st. Yeah, I procrastinated. I waited till the last moment. I waited till I had to do it. And there's a way we act when we feel required to act. So that's part of it. You gotta make a goal and you have to make a goal that matters to you. If you make a goal that doesn't truly in your heart, in your guts, in your soul matter, then you're not going to make it. So when it comes to losing weight, I need to lose weight again. I'm gonna lose weight. And the reason that matters to me, the reason I tell myself that that's an extremely important thing for me to do, is that my back doesn't feel good when I go over a certain weight. You know, people always are saying, oh, why do you need to lose weight? Well, because I'm not at my optimum if, if I don't weigh a certain amount. So that affects everything. It affects my work. It affects my sleep. It affects how much I get done. It affects how active I am. And, you know, a number is a number, right? Uh, in terms of, uh, of a number on the scale. But when you look at the effects that can be had by making a goal, by reaching a goal, that's when that, that goal happens. We all walk because as babies, we had a goal to walk. And we didn't care how many times we fell down. We kept trying and we were able to walk. So I'm gonna advise you to not look at this whole idea of making goals at the end of a year as a silly thing. Um, take yourself as seriously as sports people do. You know, they look at statistics. I look at statistics. I make statistics about myself. I make statistics about how many of my goals that I reach, how many, how many goals I reach. And I make long-term goals, which almost often, almost always I don't make. I don't reach a lot of my long-term goals at the end of the year, but I, because I always make large enough goals that, that just by getting close to them, uh, that's gonna make a big improvement in my life. But I have long-term goals, and I have monthly goals, and I have weekly goals, and I have daily goals, and I have things, and I keep records, you know, just like a baseball player who goes two for four, or he walks, and he's just, you know, he's looking at his stats at the end of the day, oh, I got another save. You know, why should baseball players, and football players, and basketball players uh, pay such importance to that? Well, because those stats, they mean nothing in and of themselves, but, they bring about what they're after, which is uh, optimum performance. And so, you know, I give, I, get, I take those stats on myself. I, I, I get a point when I wake up at 5.15 in the morning. Um, I, I get a point when I, I do yoga uh, or I go to the exercise place. So uh, I want you to think about that today if you can. Think about some of the changes that you can make in your life, some of the goals 
that are worth having. Another goal I have this year is I, I need to train my dogs better. They're, they're just a, a, a catastrophe when I take them on a walk. And we've been complaining about this, that my whole family, we all complain about it. We've complained about it for over a year. Okay, time to do something about it. So that's, that's a goal that my whole family has to be a part of because we all have to work on that to get these dogs where we want them to be. But it, it's reached the point, and this is sometimes how goals work, it had to reach the point where I just couldn't even stand walking my dogs anymore. I just can't stand, oh my gosh, you're peering over the corner, we gotta run into another dog, and yip, 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 bark, 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 bark. Um, so make those goals, you know, if there's something you've been complaining about all year, then, uh, then, then, then change it very lucky human beings we we we, uh, we we won the lottery just by being born and we won the lottery by being born in a time and a place where we have control over our own lives and part of that control is we get to make our own goals and take a look take a look at the successes you've had this year take a look at those things you didn't quite make it where you wanted to make it and take a look at next year where do you want to be December 31st, 2021. What do you want to look, look like? Uh, how much money do you want in your bank account? Uh, what position do you want in your job? Or, or you know, what, what do you want your company to do? This is the time to look at that. Uh, this is the time to think about that. And this is the time to write it down. When you write it down, it gives you power. It gives, it, it, it makes it real. And, uh, you know, and I think, I think it makes it more real if you write it on paper than, than if, you, if you type it, I don't know, the cloud, that's kind of ephemeral. I think it's good to write it on paper, but write it however you want to write it. Make some of these goals that are truly important. Don't make a goal just to make a goal, but you know there's ways that you can improve your life this year. You know there's things you've been complaining about without ever acting upon. So this is a great day to think about all of those things. So I want to uh, thank those of you who have been watching uh, the videos, listening to the podcast as uh, Indispensable Leadership got started in 2019. Uh, I expect 2020 to be a very a big year for Indispensable Leadership. And uh, I hope to uh, see all of you uh, during the next 12 months in which all of us, you, I, we're all going to succeed together. Have a great new year.